Hey everybody, it's Neil here from Post to Post. Welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, and thank you for joining me for this uh, crazy ranking. Honestly, we've done the home Adidas jerseys recently. We've done the away Adidas uh, jerseys, ranked those. Those were fun and controversial, and uh, lots of people had their own opinions in the comment section, but that's really what's great about these videos. There is no right or wrong. It's completely subjective. Uh, and I thought I'd rank all of the alternate jerseys to go along with those first two videos. So this is a pretty big list. And by alternate jerseys, I'm qualifying this as any jersey that is not home or away that is made by Adidas. So, and that I'm, that does not include reverse retros, okay? So winter classics, stadium series, general alternates, general fourth jerseys, like Vancouver has a bunch of alternate jerseys. So there are 48 total. Okay, not 31 for 31 teams, 48 total jerseys. And this is since the uh, this is since Adidas had, had taken over from Reebok in late 2017, 2018 season. There's a lot of jerseys to get through, get through here. And uh, I don't expect everyone to agree with me, but I, I'm excited for this video because it's about this lot of jerseys, not so much the ranking. Don't put so much faith in this ranking. It's it's a bit nonsensical like most of my rankings, but it's the, the meat of this video is just looking at all these jerseys, seeing all 48 alternate jerseys currently um, is, is something I'm pretty excited for. So let's get going with the ranking. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We ranked a bunch of stuff recently, uh, NHL locker rooms, helmets or ads on helmets, and uh, there's lots of more stuff coming under rank the NHL practice facilities and uh, a bunch more stuff. So we'd love it if you could go down, hit the subscribe button, help the channel grow, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, number 48. I've put the alternate Winnipeg Jets jersey. I already know that some people are going to be upset at this. I'm, I'm sure it's not anyone's favorite, or I'm sure that not many people would have it as their favorites, but I'm also sure that no one likely has it last 48 of 48, so I, I understand that I'm probably in the minority here. I just hate that logo. I hate that that stylized textual logo. Uh, it looks like a baseball logo to me. It doesn't look hockey. I love that shade of blue, um, but just generally this jersey does not do anything for me. I mean, that's my, my, my main reasoning is the logo, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what else, what else to say. It's just, I, I really don't like it. <laughs> Number 47, the Stadium Series LA Kings jersey. I like the boldness, I like the approach, I like the meaning behind it. Uh, I like the promotional photos that they use with the P51 Mustang in the background and stuff, that was that was amazing. But I think it misses the mark, it's, it's just an odd jersey. It, it is kind of an odd jersey, it's, it looks low effort in a way. I think there's a difference between simplistic and, or minimalistic and low effort, and this side's more so on the low effort uh, portion. So uh, I've never seen this in person, so maybe I would like it more if I saw it in person, but for right now, it gets 47. 46, the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins jersey that is kind of based on their stadium series. This one does nothing for me. Sorry, Kale, I know you love this <laughs> this jersey, but it's just a big pylon to me. I, I don't like it. Uh, Pittsburgh has such incredible jersey history and jerseys now, home and away, I really like them a lot. And this one is a standout for me. I just, it does nothing for me, too much yellow. Number 45, my favorite team, the Montreal Canadiens. I've ranked them objectively and not biasly. So yes, they're almost near the end here. This is the the jersey from the 100 Classic. It has nice touches. I do own this jersey. I do I do like having it in my collection, but as a jersey itself, it feels a, a, a little bit boring. Uh, the logo changed a little bit, which was nice, and I like the little impressions inside the strip with the years. That That is a really nice touch, but overall, I thought it was a little bit too boring. Number 44, the Toronto Maple Leafs for the Toronto St. Pats. This was a really cool specialty jersey, but it, it just doesn't match their brand to me, and it's not really supposed to. It's not supposed to be the Toronto Maple Leafs, obviously. It's supposed to be the Toronto St. Pats, and uh, it works for what it is, but I just, I think I like the Reebok version more, and yeah, this one's not, just not doing it for me. It just doesn't, just, just doesn't do it. Number 43, the Nashville Predators. This was from the Winter Classic, I believe it was against Dallas, and what drives me crazy about this jersey the most is the logo on the front. The top or the highest point of the L in Nashville does not touch the top stripe, but the bottom of the P in Predators touches the bottom stripe. And it just, just from a design perspective, it just, my, it just, it drives me crazy. It, my OCD just can't take it. I love the collar, the back of the neck, the, the, the jersey itself is minimalistic in a good way. I do like that, but the logo in the front just, it drives me bonkers. Number 42. The, I think it was the Stadium Series uh, jersey against the Maple Leafs, and this is the Capitals version. 
the texture in the in the numbers is pretty cool. Uh, but this this is a belly top jersey for me. <laughs> if I just see this and I see I, I see some very tanned person wearing this as the red being a very red uh, and sunburnt belly and the blue just being in the shirt itself. So it, it just, that big swash of red, it, or swatch of red at the bottom is just, it's too big. And uh, it just looks like a belly top to me. And it's just, I just find it so distracting. Number 41, the Islanders. This really comes down to the shoulders. I'm not really a big fan of the, the shoulder yokes. I think it only works in really specific situations, which you'll see <laughs> later on in the video. Um, but the colors are the colors are fine. The logo in the front has never really done it for me. So the logo in the front and the shoulders bring this one down. Number forty, the New Jersey Devils alternate jersey with uh, kind of a throwback. It's got the, it's got some green in there. I do have this jersey. It does look pretty good in person. I will admit, uh, but in general, it feels I don't know. I think just think it could be better. I like the nostalgia of it and uh, the the, res the respectfulness of it but not my favorite for sure. Number 39, the LA Kings alternate. Of all of the boring LA Kings jerseys that utilize just the silver and or the gray and the black and the white, this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, the other one that they use, which you'll see coming up, wasn't really a modern jersey. It's based on an old jersey. But of the modern jerseys, I like this one the most. Um, but it's still not great. <laughs> I think it's just by definition, kind of just an average jersey. Number 38, the Stadium Series Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, the two tones, I'm just, I know people are into them and they love them. I find they rarely work for me. I'm just, I'm not a fan of this one. I would say kind of like the last one, it's just really a bit of an average jersey for me. Number 37, the Calgary Flames. This one's, an, this one's odd, okay? So technically, this year, this is considered an alternate jersey, which was their previous home jersey. So some would argue that this shouldn't be in here, but by definition of alternate jersey, this is this has to be in here. I like the jersey. It is nice. I love the shoulder patches using the provincial state flag or provincial flag, <laughs> provincial flag on the shoulder and then the Canada flag. I like that. I know some people don't, but I do. And uh, I, it, I've just seen it so much. I mean, I've seen this jersey design for uh, basically a decade or more, so I'm just kind of sick of it, but I still like it, so I put it in the 30s. Number 36, the Tampa Bay Lightning. <sighs> gradients. <laughs> oh, gradients. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I don't really think that this works here in this jersey. I have this jersey. It does look better in person. Uh, I do like the textured little bits in the jersey, but... I like the boldness. Like that's 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 not why it's in the bottom five, uh, or the bottom ten. It is, it is bold. I appreciate the the cojones it took to come up with this design and just go for something completely different. I really respect that. But overall, I think it's mostly a miss. Number thirty-five, the Vancouver Canucks. I'm sure I'll get some hate for this one, but uh, it's the striping. There's the fact that there's no white striping in any of the any of the arms or the bottom of the jersey, but it is in the neck. I just feel like it's a bit unbalanced and the green blends in with the blue a little bit too much. And I've never really been a fan of that logo in the middle. Number 34, the Toronto Arenas. So again, another Maple Leafs team or another Toronto team rather. This one is, is very classic, very respectful. The lines going down the arms is something you might see in a jersey, well, you know, close to 100 years ago. It works. There's nothing special about it. Uh, I, uh, there's nothing I really dislike about it. It's just kind of one of those average jerseys. Number 33, the Ottawa Senators 100 Classic uh, that they use against Montreal. Kind of like the Montreal one, they do have some years stitched into the striping, which is really nice. And it's rubberized too in the Adidas uh, in the Adidas one, which is which is great. I used to have this jersey. I don't anymore. It is, it is decent, but it's not better than their Heritage Classic. And I think if they had have taken their Heritage Classic and Reebok years and made that into an Adidas, it would have been much better. So the fact that I've seen the Heritage Classic, I know what it looks like, this felt uh, not as superior as that. So I had to rank it a little bit lower. Missed opportunity is probably a good term here. Number 32, the two-tone Edmonton Oilers jersey. I know a lot of people love this, and it does actually look pretty good on the ice. I'm not I'm not totally blind. I, I can appreciate it uh, from that aspect, but just overall, I, I, I don't know why it just doesn't uh, it just doesn't do much for me. Number thirty one, the Dallas Stars Winter Classic jersey. I will admit fully that this looks very good in person, but uh, again, maybe a missed opportunity here. Instead of coming up with something that was new, like totally new, like this, maybe take some 
uh, classicness. It is a winter classic. It takes some classicness from a previous jersey, jersey design, possibly in the 90s, and uh, maybe, you know, sprinkle some modernness on it. So I think this jersey is average. Love the back of the neck, the collar. Uh, but again, missed opportunity. Number 30, the Boston Bruins. Kind of went back and forth on this one, and I'm comparing a lot to the white version of this that they use in the Winter Classic. I really see this as the dark version of that, and it is minimalistic, it's simple, it's great, it looks very good in person, but I'm just, I'm so almost obsessed with the white one. I love it um, that I, I had to bring this one down a little bit. Number 29, the Colorado Avalanche Stadium Series jersey, uh, a jersey that I actually just recently unboxed on the channel. The design itself, is is really cool i i like it a lot but that damn logo at the bottom of the logo you, you guys heard me talk about it in the unboxing video the change of texture or material rather at the bottom of the a into the actual jersey mesh material just drives me crazy i think it's it's so offensive it is offend it offends me that it does that that adidas did that with this jersey but overall it's a really unique jersey and it's pretty cool Number 28, the Chicago Blackhawks uh, Winter Classic jersey that they use against the Boston Bruins. This is my favorite Boston, or <laughs> this is my favorite Chicago Blackhawks jersey uh, in Adidas. It is, it, it kind of goes against my general opinion of jerseys. I'm not really a fan of teams just using black and white, but I love how nostalgic this is. It feels super classic. It feels like an original six jersey because that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's just, it's respectful, it's minimalistic, it is perfect in my opinion, wouldn't change a thing. Number 27, this crazy jersey, this crazy Dallas green lime jersey. And when I first did this ranking, I did this prior to the season starting. And then when I saw the jerseys on the ice, of them actually using these, I'm like, okay, this is a ridiculous jersey, but it's so ridiculous that I need to bump it up my list some, because I, I, gotta, I gotta give them props, I gotta give them respect. So good job, Dallas, on, on coming up with this crazy jersey. The best part about this is the numbers. I love the numbers. The numbers are excellent. Number 26, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think this was the Stadium Series jersey against the Washington Capitals. Uh, and it is, I would say, I would say this is the best modern Maple Leaf jersey that I've seen. I really like this one. There's that one from Re Reebok that was dark with the, had the stripe in the background. That one's pretty cool too, but this one is very, very clean. Extremely clean jersey. Uh, I kind of wish that this was their primary away jersey. Number 25, the Pittsburgh Penguins. I used to have this jersey. I don't anymore. I sold it. And uh, it is it is definitely better than the Flyers one, in my opinion. Even though I like orange more than yellow, I think this just works a, a little bit better. This is, a, this is a decent jersey. Number 24, the new Washington Capitals jersey. I think this is maybe a little bit higher in the list because it's so new and it's it's exciting. It's new. I've never seen it before, other than the past couple of weeks. Um, so I'm a little high on it, and I think if I did these rankings in a year, this would drop down some. But uh, I like the simpleness of it. Number 23, the throwback uh, alternate LA Kings jersey from the 90s. I wish they had done the dark version of this jersey, but they did the white version, which is which is fine. It. I grew up in the, or I was born in the 80s. I'm a 90s kid. I grew up in the 90s. This is what I remember watching the LA Kings wear. So I, for nostalgia reasons alone, I had to rank it up a little bit higher in my list here. And uh, I do have this jersey. Shout out to Kyle. Number 22, the San Jose Sharks 30th anniversary jersey. Again, kind of a nostalgia feel here. I, I like the classic jerseys, and I know not a lot of people do. They prefer the newer, the modern ones, and sometimes I do too. But I also like the throwback ones. So I... Missed opportunity because he didn't do with the white San Jose, but still, decent job. 21, this absolutely crazy, ridiculous bank, uh, Vegas Golden Knights jersey. I, I have this. It is itchy to wear. It, it definitely is. It looks silly under light because it's Sparkle City, but it is amazing. Like, it, it, it's incredible that it literally exists. Like, this is something that someone will come up with as a concept and be like, well, I'm, I'm just going to come up with something outlandish and just make it. But then Vegas made it and, it, and it exists, and it's real, and I have it in my closet back there right behind me. Um, I, it's, I love it and I hate it at the same time, so it's one of those jerseys. Number 20, the Columbus Blue Jackets uh, alternate jersey. This one has gone up my list, definitely. It's one I would like to own in the future. Um, I thought about buying it about a year ago. Didn't happen. 
And the more I look at it, the more I, I, I really appreciate it for what it is. I like the off-white color. I like the Canon on there. I obviously like the Canon. Um, and it's just, it feels very classic, even though the Blue Jackets aren't really a classic team. They're one of the, the newest teams in the league. So maybe it doesn't totally match their brand, but it, man, it looks good. Uh, number 19, the Anaheim Ducks throwback jersey. Yes. Uh, shout out to Jared for sending this one in. I really like this jersey in my collection. I like the deep, subtle purple that's in the in the front of the neck there and then the stripe along the bottom. Very underrated jersey in the NHL. I hope that the Anaheim Ducks continue with this brand and make something similar to this, but uh, maybe just a little bit better. Number 18, the Carolina Hurricanes alternate jersey. Love the blacked out or the kind of grayscale or monochrome uh, patches on the shoulders. That was a really nice touch. I prefer this logo, their secondary logo, versus their primary logo. This is a really nice jersey. I'm just not super sold on the texture within the stripes. I think it looks like wood grain or something, and I think that is a, just a slight miss, a slight miss. Number 17, another Anaheim Ducks jersey. From pictures, this looks kind of average, but seeing this in person, I don't have it, but I've seen it in person, it looks so much better so much better in person. It, the pictures do not do it justice. I fully plan to get this in the future sometime. Um, very underrated jersey. Number 16, the Hartford Whalers, aka the Carolina Hurricanes. Thank you, Carolina, for coming out with a Hartford Whalers jersey. I do not have this. I thought about it. It is, again, ranked mostly on nostalgia. Number 15, the Washington Capitals alternate jersey. And I know that people are going to be upset because most people don't like this jersey. <clears throat> Kale. But... I really like it. It Again, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but it brings me back to kind of my childhood and, and makes me think about when I was a kid watching hockey growing up, and they would wear similar jerseys to this. And uh, it just, honestly, like I've got hockey cards with the old school jersey like this from, from way back in the day. So it just makes me think about good times. Number 14, the San Jose Sharks stealth jersey. Very underrated jersey. It is, it is when I bought this jersey... I committed fully because it was the first hand-stitched jersey in my collection. I'm like, you know what? This is the ultimate jersey. This is a be-all, end-all jersey for San Jose. It's different. It's new. It's modern. It looks really good. I'm going to pay the extra money to get an, uh, a name, a Timo Meyer, uh, put it on the jersey, and it is one of my favorite jerseys in my collection. It's not the prettiest. It's not the most outlandish. It's not, uh, it's not the most flashy. But it's clean, it's respectful, and it looks damn good on the ice. Number 13, the, the Edmonton Oilers alternate. So th this is what I wish their home would be. I wish their alternate was actually the orange one. I prefer the old school vibes of this one more, with blue being their primary color instead of orange. Number 12, the... Oh, wow. The, the Rangers. This is a, a criminally underrated jersey, and I'm so angry at myself for not getting it when it came out. I, I didn't really like it when it came out, but the more I looked at it over time, it is so good. I love the striping that's pulled from their away jersey right here. The Rangers just being huge on there, and then that the crest right there, man, it's so good. Number 11, the Kachina jersey. This isn't a nice jersey. It is it is just amazing because it's the Kachina jersey. Like it is just, it is what it is. It's busy. It, it doesn't really match that well, but it is, 100% unique, and I really appreciate the Arizona Coyotes going almost full-time with this. Heck yeah. Number 10, the Buffalo Sabres 50th anniversary jersey. I have this in Fanatics and not Adidas, um, but it is so clean and so nice. And the logo, this is where this jersey uh, shines. The logo, the textured uh, Buffalo on there is one of the best parts out of any jerseys that has ever been created in the NHL, regardless of brand, Adidas, Reebok, CCM, Coho, Starter, whatever, that that decision, whoever made that decision, I want to shake their hand after COVID. Um, but yes, very nice, and I'm so glad that the Buffalo Sabres are doing that in their current jer jerseys uh, also. Number nine, the Winnipeg Jets. I, I prefer the Winnipeg Jets to use these jerseys. That You'll see the other one here coming up. Uh, but I like the classic vibes of this. I, again, I'm, I'm all about the classic. Number eight, the Flyers. So it's almost a two-tone jersey, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's, I, I love it. It's my favorite Flyers jersey. And my favorite part about it is what most people hate. It's the nameplate on the back that's orange. And it just it looks so out of place, but I think that's why I like it, just because it's totally different. Number seven, the St. Louis Blues 
alternate throwback to the 90s. I think a lot of people are going to be upset with me here too because uh, I the, of all the St. Louis fans I know, the majority of them aren't really that high on this jersey. I would say that I think it's maybe average or less than average, um, but I think it's I think it's one of their best like ever, ever. So heck yeah. Number six, the St. Louis Blues alternate that is based on the Reebok Winter Classic. This is technically my favorite St. Louis Blues jersey. It had it's it's everything that it needs to be. It's based on the Winter Classic. It looks classic. They nailed that part using the off white, using a logo with some texture, some felt texture. The colors are perfect. It is simple. Nice uh, uh, a little touch there to the St. Louis flag in the back. Um, it is it is the perfect St. Louis Blues jersey. It looks modern, but original at the same time. Um, I love it. Number five, another super criminally underrated jersey, the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, I think it was the Winter Classic. This was against the Rangers, I believe, which we just saw earlier. Again, uh, this this was a really good indication of the direction that the Buffalo Sabres were going to go. We didn't know until years later, but we're, we're, we're back. We're back, baby. Royal Blue, Buffalo Sabres, home and away. They're amazing. And this was kind of a test, I think, to the market to see what Buffalo Sabres fans uh, thought of this. So good job, Buffalo. Criminally underrated uh, jersey. Number four, the Boston Bruins white winter classic jersey, the one that I'm basically obsessed with. I'm a Canadians fan. I shouldn't like this jersey. I don't like those colors together, but I think there's just something about this jersey that speaks original six 100 years ago. Um, it, it is ugly, but it is so... It feels significant. It feels historic, it, respectful. It's got a felt on the logo. It's just... It's so different than their entire other lineup. Um, I just... I love the decision here. And at the collar, just being that classic kind of more like sweater. I call them jerseys. Some people call them sweaters. A sweater to me is... is is a jersey that uses a collar like this that's more of a, an old school kind of look. So I would, even though this is technically a jersey, I would probably call this a sweater, if that makes sense. That's my logic. It's not supposed to make sense, but it does in my head. Number three, the Vancouver skate jersey. Again, born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. When I was watching the Vancouver Canucks in the early 90s, this is this is what I was used to. I was used to seeing them uh, wear wear this jersey or wear a, you know, a version of this jersey. And it was, I would say, average back then. But now that they brought it back, it just it's so nostalgic. It it makes me, like it, it makes me emotional in a way. That like that's what this jersey does to me. And that's a silly thing to say. I'm a grown I'm a grown man. I'm getting emotional over uh, a jersey. But I'm a, I'm a very thoughtful person when it comes to my past. And I I'm I love to look back at old photos and. And old video from the 90s and stuff in the, in the early 2000s and the 80s and even decades when I wasn't alive in the 60s and the 50s and stuff. I'm just I'm, I'm really interested in the past. And when I see something that reminds me of, uh, of my past or the past in general, um, I, I like that. That's a good feeling. Number two, the Winnipeg Jets. I will say, if you know me, you already know what number one is. It's not going to be a surprise. But I will say that this jersey gave number one a run for its money. Number one has been my favorite jersey for since it came out in the Reebok years, but this it, seriously, like I actually s s sat down for a good amount of time and thought about putting this first, or like that's how much I like this jersey, and I I loved it, and then I bought it, and I'm like, wow, this looks so good in person. I wish that they would use this as their primary home jersey, and I hope that they do. Calgary did it. Uh, Winnipeg has the option; they've got the white and the dark version of this. Hopefully they do it. I know not all Winnipeg fans want that, but that's what I want. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's perfect. I absolutely love it. And number one, of course, it's the um, alternate Colorado Avalanche jersey, which came from the Reebok years into the Adidas years. And I know that not, probably not a single person watching this video, it would, if they could rank 48 of these, they probably wouldn't have this first, like no one out there. And I understand that, and it breaks rules that I have set for myself. I don't like shoulder yokes like that. And I don't know why it works. I don't know why I love this jersey. The colors are great. I love the, the Colorado State flag patch on there. I think that's wonderful. The logo is basic and average. I can't tell you specifically why this is number one or why it's always been my favorite since it's released. It just is. That's, just, that's the gut emotion feeling I get from this jersey. 
Heck yeah. So if you know me, not a surprise here. I really appreciate you guys watching, taking a couple of minutes out of your day uh, to catch me for this for this ranking. I love doing these. I know that I'm not right in doing these, and that's but that's the beauty, like I said at the beginning. It's subjective. There is no right or wrong. It would be super boring if we all, all had the same list. So please leave your list down below. I don't expect you to do all 48, but if you do, you're a legend. Do your top five. Do your bottom five. Do your Just tell me your favorite. I would love to know. I really appreciate you guys contributing to the channel, whether it's a comment, whether it's a like. If you did like this video, listen, if you've made it this far in the video, you got to leave a like. You, they, you didn't just watch, what are we at, 25 minutes, something like that? Man, if you, you watch some, this video for 25 minutes and you don't leave a like, phew, come on, come on. Leave a like, guys. I appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button. We're doing all kinds of rankings on here. Coming up soon, real soon on the channel, we're doing more Jersey concepts from very talented artists out there like you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next ranking. Adios.